And we're back. Finally, after four days. Wow. Welcome back, everyone. Wow. Oh, it's been too long. But I finally got up enough wakefulness to, like, get up this morning early so that I'd have some time for this. Well, okay, I admit the past couple days have been debugging and doing other things real quick. So, anyway, happy I'm back, though. Back to this goofiness. Wow, that's still very loud. Metro, yes. I've also got coffee going, so I'm going to hop down to do that a couple times. And breakfast. Speaking of which, Whoa! All right. <clears throat> Man, I wish I, I suddenly wish I had an elytra that I can just blast out of here. <laughs> Oh, I gotta skip and remind myself what we were up to on Saturday. This floor. I remember that. And I also remember heading, you know, I think, that direction. to find a jungle or something, but... using my powers of... the Google... Let's look up when jungles were added. <laughs> Let's add it in Alpha 1.2. Or rather, the rainforest was added in Alpha 1.2. Yeah, essentially I want, I have a, I picked up a um, Cocoa Pod from one of the dungeons that I ran into, and I want to be able to I want to be able to, um, you know, 
farm those, plant them, recover them, make cookies after I've finished. Okay, we're gonna set up for scumpuses though. Because I highly re regret the last time we went out and then I felt lost and it was only by chance that I actually headed in the right direction here. Going to do this the uh, inverse nether way. To be fair, do you mark the direction from which you came? <laughs> or the direction in which you are going? full of mustard and it hurts. Oh gosh. I feel like 
feel like we need to switch the direction of these torches. Because it's going back. It's the, the process of navigating back. And the torch will point to where you need to go because these will be easy to see <laughs> as the direction from which you went. Yeah, and if we make a turn, then we'll be able to easily, you know. kind of cool area too. I like this one. That's the thing about this game. You don't have to go far before you see something breathtaking. Hello. Oh boy, I forgot how brash and loud and intense Trans-Siberia is. say I can only handle it in so many doses. <laughs> anyway, I had it playing back in the living room, so just hurt it a little. Uh, we have a little ocean here, it looks like.
specifically we're after the jungle. So this is the reason we're going this way. Um, I'm going to turn this guy just because, hey, there may be reason to hear me periodically. But yes, we are specifically looking for a jungle. Interesting, a clay deposit on the beach. Never seen that. <laughs> and I guess you should call we should call it rainforest, not jungle. There's been some contention about that in the past, according to everything. I was also going for yellow flowers last time, as I recall. Ugh. So, yeah, um... I think it was yesterday, although it might have been Monday, I looked into the issues I was having on Saturday and hopefully cleared them up. I am convinced it is my Wi-Fi and I am playing off the Wi-Fi because I, I just have a laptop and I really can't play on anything like a desktop at this point. Because the desktop I have is like <clears throat> 10 years old. Probably could handle this, but not much more. So, anyway, the long story short is, well... I had a feeling it was my Wi-Fi yesterday. Because looking into everything, it was like, oh, speed test. I get full blast on my um, my Raspberry Pi server that I run. And that's hardwired to the router through a gigabit switch, all this other stuff. And, <clears throat> yeah. It just ended up being like, oh, great. So yesterday I was running driver updates on everything and found that there, yes, there was an update for my wireless card and yes, all sorts of other fun and annoying things. Hopefully it is back up and running now, but I also, <clears throat> also, just this morning remembered, oh yeah, there was a setting that I don't remember if I turned it on or not, and that is um, disconnect protection. <laughs> I'm like, why wasn't this on? You should have known better. You have the most disconnect problems of any of your friends. So, yeah. I think that is now taken care of because that's the first thing I did when I got up was turn this thing on and log into Twitch and click that little toggle right there. Hey, we found ourselves a little desert. Howdy, Jack. Good to see you.
to bring you up to speed, we are on a quest for a rainforest. Because <laughs> I ran across cocoa beans and I want to make a little, I want to be able to grow them. It's a large tree. It's a couple large trees. Let's see what this one's. No, these are just giant oaks. sugar canes. It's crazy. This is actually kind of hopeful, though. Um, we are getting into ferns. I can't tell. 
I don't think it is. I'm just seeing oak trees here. <laughs> I really, I mean, I, I want the jungle trees more than I want the jungle at this point. But gosh, it could be with all these ferns, it's kind of an odd one. edge cases, if edge biomes existed in beta in any, in any form. Yeah, they were saying though that rainforests exist in alpha. That's what I was reading anyway. So what I didn't look up <laughs> was if jungle trees also existed in alpha, because that's basically what I'm after. And you would be correct. 1.2 added jungle trees. Full release 1.2. Gosh dang it. Okay, so Coco. This is it's just, it's just one of those non-farmable things that you find. Yeah, 1.4 beta cocoa beans were brought into the game as a reward found in dungeon chests. That's exactly where I got it. And, okay. And brown wool is obtainable without hacking the game because brown sheep exist. <laughs> okay, well, then, yay. <laughs> Mission accomplished, I guess. I will take yellow flowers, though. Because given my propensity for getting lost uh, last weekend, or feeling like I got lost, I wanted to mark out the thing at the base. Well, it's a cool little area anyway. I like it. It's nifty. Too. Shears don't take out grass and ferns. Ah, well.
There it is. And it's also where we make our turn. <coughs> I'll leave these in place. It'll just be a testament to the idea that I've been here before. Actually, actually. research project. Melon. Melons added beta 1.8 dang one beta version too low <laughs> oh well i tried high point because I'm lost. Not lost, lost, but it'll be much easier to see the marker if I'm not. There they are. <clears throat> 710? Okay. Just run this shovel out, gathering. Powdered glass? No. Besides, if we leave the markers here, we can come back and work on stuff, particularly with that monolithic structure in the distance, which I thought was about the most spectacular thing I've seen on this seed so far.
Yeah. <clears throat> Wow, I'm actually mimicking the sounds now. That's not a good sign. Well, it's like the YouTubers that are like, they, they fall off a cliff and, ow, your character fell off the cliff. You're still sitting at your desk. <laughs> but I do it out of habit now. this way we were going this way yep. that's you you're very correct <laughs> Say what Steve says. I rem I vaguely remember when they switched away from the Steve Oof sound. No, do I? No. I recall I do recall when they made the ground kind of splash when you land. That I do remember very vaguely. I think it was like 1.5 or something like that and <clears throat> the first time I hopped out of a jungle tree because yes jungle trees were there and I'm like whoa what was all that particles around my feet that's that's a new thing and then I had to try it five times and I'm I killed myself doing it. I should pull that world back up. I think I found it and I have it somewhere archived. I also should resurrect my um, Buildcraft <clears throat> modded world, because that I made in 1.4 as well, and I had quite a fun time trying to build up to a quarry, like a full-out quarry in survival. It was cool. And of course my buddy had me. <laughs> installing Tinker's Construct in tandem with it as a sort of mini mod pack. And here I'm making the smeltery and the... Yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. when those mods also required chicken chunks, I think. Which I don't even remember what chicken chunks did. What was that? Oh, I don't remember now. It's, I, my brain is, my memory is foggy between two friends who were trying to get me into the game in the first place.
Okay, Jack, thank you for stopping in. It's good to see you again. Yep, sounds good. Look forward to catching you again soon. Another fun mod I want to retry and retry in full survival is Mistcraft. That I had a lot of fun with in 1.6. A lot of fun, but it was all 100% creative. Where it was just completely creative inventory build a bunch of pages, make a bunch of dimensions. Yeah. Oh boy. Come up with... And that was <laughs> long before Infinity Update. Infinity pre-release. I can actually switch these around. Since this is the first scumpus with a torch on the, or rather the last scumpus with the torch on the wrong side. And I only, and it looks like I only built like two of them before I switched it around. Good light gray. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> oh man, I do want to try. <laughs> I do want to try Mistcraft again now. Oh boy. I think I've got a... Uh, not in this build, but maybe on my work computer. I have a, I have a save file for uh, Mistcraft. Like modern Mistcraft for like 1.16 or something. Which now I'm really curious to see if they're continually updating it now. Because I know they overhauled it from the 1.6 or 1.7 and older where you'd find dungeons full of pages and build those into your books. Now it's like completely overhauled. The system is completely different. I don't actually know how it works. Okay, so you can't dye anything but white wool. Do I have any red in here? No.
little uh, little sun. It's just kind of dumb, dumb little sun. And I need like three more orange, and I'll have this complete. <sighs> but it's not it's not a finished it's not a finished idea yet. I'm gonna look up Mistcraft, see where they are in that. Mistcraft, feed the beast. Curse Forge. May 16th, 2020. Latest version is 1.12 still. Okay, that's, yeah, that's where they stopped. Still, 1.12, I've never played the 1.12 version of Mistcraft. I stopped at 1.7, and that's the old system. Where's Buildcraft at, though? Engine chaining. Beta 7.99 for 1.12. Everybody gives up at 1.12 on all these old on all these old mods. Kind of sad. But 1.12, that's a pretty iconic version for mod packs. And I, I mean, obviously I'm playing beta, so I'm not opposed to. <laughs> Doing it up so that I can actually play those ones as well. Those older versions. And I know everybody's like, oh, create mod, create mod. Because once again, hermit craft people are playing create and <laughs> that immediately makes it the most popular thing in the universe. Suddenly, Create Mod has gotten a resurgence of, like, because Hermitcraft is going crazy with it right now, and people love Hermitcraft. I can't blame them. I love them, too. La 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 la. Okay. So that said, cocoa beans are valuable. Did I put my music disc in that too? I hope so. That'll be one thing I check in just a sec. No, I did not put it in there. Am I able to mine the jukebox? Yes, because I'm going to put the jukebox right here. seems much more conducive to valuable things. Right. <clears throat> so I found my jungle. It was for naught. Uh, also, get 
myself some sand and start a little cactus farm thingy. I'm going to look up. Yeah, I might have already looked this one up. Uh, fence gate. Minecraft. When did fence gates get added? Because I've tried making them and they don't make. They don't, they don't work with the regular recipe. History 2010 beta 1.8. Yeah, yeah, I did look this up because it was one of those. Jeb mentions fence gates as a thing prior to 1.8. So they were probably testing them at this point, but didn't actually make them until the next release. Which if we're calling this Minecraft for purists, 1.8 doesn't count. 1.8 is when they, beta 1.8 is when they ruined it all, according to purists. And here I just upgraded our server to 1.19.3 last week. Or no, this week. This week? Yeah, Monday. Just Monday I ran the updates on my spigot server. So hooray. Made my big backup and yeah. Okay. Um get myself a couple iron as well because I need myself a pickaxe or no just a regular axe sorry uh, where did I put my iron at there it is I do need to sort there we go I don't rem oh gosh this is the other thing <laughs> I don't think I don't think friends fences break any faster with a, an axe. And actually, I don't want to put them here anyway. I'd prefer to stick them somewhere else. Actually, that might be a bad idea. Not a bad idea, but a pointless idea. farm these things, which hoppers don't exist, so I can't. Oh. 
Mm. Yep. So torches do work. That's good to know. will not break the thingies. Really, really, really want to give my my original mod pack a try. Buildcraft plus Tinkers plus Mistcraft. And even Mistcraft wasn't part of that originally. It was just build craft and tinkers. I just, uh, yeah. Just to learn it again, you know. Okay, so did I make another compass? I think I did not, but I lost the original. Is it this way? Yes. This doesn't do me any good because it points to spawn, not to north. But I wanted to, just for the heck of it, put this at the top of this guy. Yay, yeah, cool. I could actually stand to stick a um, make a couple other rays off of that marker. Like so. Okay.
go ahead and make one more pickaxe. I'm going to do some more stone mining here. Resource gathering. I just, yeah, kind of annoying how they don't swap out like that, like you'd expect them to. We're going to go diamond as well. So. Dungeon. And this is at 10, so we go 11, 12. Give ourselves a little breathing. <laughs> Vertical breathing room, I mean. As what I call, actually I don't call it anything, but that's what I ought to call thinking ahead. Ooh, lapis, I'll take it, I'll take it. Did we get blue out of that? No. But we may just be able to diet straight up. Yes. Oh, cool. That's good to know. One thing I one thing I also want to look up enchanting. I already looked this up, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Not in this version. Which is sad, but true. It's a cave somewhere. Sounds like said zombie is swimming around. Let me 
I think I've already been here. Is the other way to get lost. <sighs> labyrinths, labyrinthian caves. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then you die, and then you're just, yeah, screwed. about this now. With no food to speak of, but I am in a bit of a pickle. Let me double check chat. Nope, nobody. Nobody talking. That's okay. Just gotta make sure I'm not ignoring anybody. All right, this is a really nice mine shaft, though. is walk off the bottom, come back down with real food, which 745, I'm gonna have to pack up pretty soon. But if I staircase to the top of the world, this will be a nice place to uh, pick back up and go diamond. Just run into iron everywhere. This is amazing. We're still. 
within gold level. That's also interesting. <laughs> I'm surrounded by caves, but I'm not hitting any of them. Oh, this is going to be bad if I actually... No. I have enough. I can... I will be able to make another pickaxe once this one breaks in about three seconds. Told you. Does Lapis Block exist? Yeah, it does. Cool. I want to make a Lapis Pickaxe. It'd be kind of fun. leave that go because I don't have any reason to continue smelting at this point but it doesn't hurt to just let her go um a lot of dirt but it's not surface Get me out! Oh god. Boof. Poof. Poof. Of course. Shoot. Alright, where did this thing... Where did I pop?
we should be able to see the glint of the thing through the eyes. Is that it right there? Yes. Oh, it's throwing me off. Wow. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I got all my armor back. It's almost gone, though. Am I clear? No, I'm not. There's my... Just make sure this stays melted because that's more than a tad frustrating. Okay. Where's my base? <laughs> oh, it's over here probably. Come on, render in. I forgot I was on a little island. Good, 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 good. This is good. I'm going to be able to recover. I think. I hope. I think I got everything that I can for now. Good, good, good. This is going to work.
Very good. All right. Sweet. I'm going to hop up. Actually, no, I'm going to get going. The coffee. Call of the coffee. Call of the wild coffee. Um, and besides, it's time for me to get going. So I will see you all later. Have a good one, everyone. You can actually go somewhere safer. Take care, everyone.